Hey, it's Maximo and welcome to Maximo's Travels. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Victoria Marriott Inner Harbour Hotel in Victoria, British Columbia. Join me. We booked the three night stay at the Victoria Marriott Inner Harbour Hotel in Victoria, British Columbia. This is fantastically located just a couple of minutes from the harbour, just behind the Fairmont Empress Hotel and close to shops, cafes and the harbour with uh, its delightful views. The hotel features a on-site restaurant, Fire and Water, which we didn't attend because it was frightfully expensive. Uh, but we did have breakfast there on one occasion. It was quite expensive, around 1,111 Canadian dollars or around 410 Australian dollars per night to stay here. Expensive, but it was fantastic. And that price did not include breakfast. The hotel was built in 2004 and last renovated in 2013. It did look surprisingly modern and fresh. The reception and restaurant areas looked modern and uh, funky and inviting. The decor was quite elegant and subdued. There was even a little convenience store just off reception where you could buy uh, critical items like chips and snacks and soft drinks and charge them to a room. We had breakfast here on one occasion. Breakfast at Fire and Water is an a la carte affair, the cost of which was, well, quite comparable to the cost that we'd get breakfast back home in Australia. It did cost around about $60, but it was very convenient eating here. The food was of a very good standard and the coffee quite good as well. It wasn't particularly early when we came in and we were surprised by the lack of people um, having breakfast here. Hash browns, no, no hash browns. What have I got? Eggs Benedict uh, without the hollandaise sauce. And you have... This is a broken egg sandwich. That's a tower of food, that is. It's quite a bit more than I thought it would be. Yeah, indeed. Mm. Yep, that was a pretty good breakfast. Let's have a tour of the rest of the hotel, shall we? That's the lobby area. Quite a few people milling around, probably waiting for their bus tour. The elevators were quite swanky and quite quick. We didn't have to wait long to uh, catch a lift. And the pool and health club are located on the second floor, just through a set of glass doors. The pool looked quite nice and inviting, not that uh, I got to uh, have a swim in there. It wasn't a huge pool, but it was an indoor pool. It did look very modern and clean. It also featured a very welcoming looking spa. Adjacent to the pool area was the health club. This consisted of a fairly nice and well equipped gym, as well as somewhere where you could get uh, a sauna, spa, and perhaps even a massage. The gym was located right next door to an open area, a uh, seating area. It had a number of tables and umbrellas. It looked quite delightful. I didn't use this area either. All in all, it was pretty good, clean, large area that looked quite inviting. It is a pity that uh, we didn't get to use it. And now for the room tour. Our 410 Australian dollars per night got us a deluxe room with a king size bed on a low floor. I'm a gold member of the Marriott uh, Bonvoy uh, Accommodation Club. However, the hotel was pretty jam-packed and I wasn't able to get an upgrade, unfortunately. We were staying in room 417. The room was large, spacious, comfortable, it had uh, polished wood floors and quite a large window offering an abundance of natural light. There was plenty of floor space and it was quite easy to store your luggage. The room featured a decent sized cupboard where you could uh, put your coats and jackets and whatnot in there. It had a king size bed which was very comfortable 
and a number of pillows, which was uh, as comfortable as the bed. It was a fantastic place to rest and to sleep. We got a really good night's sleep in this hotel. The room was quite quiet, so even though it was quite busy uh, outside, you couldn't hear a thing because of the double glazed windows. The noise insulation was so good that we didn't hear anything of the building, major building construction that was going on over the road. The room also featured a very comfortable day bed and side table. This is an area that I spent a fair bit of time uh, in reading and looking at YouTube videos. There was a ample uh, size bar fridge as well as uh, there being water, free water provided daily. There was ample power sockets and places where you could charge all your devices. My allocated charging spot was over the fridge, while for Joe it was on a quite sizable desk. There was ample room to just store all your bags um, in the room. It was very, very comfortable, uh, very well organised. Ample cupboards and areas to put your bags and to store stuff. There was tea and coffee making facilities. And there was a coffee machine that made pretty damn good coffee. The widescreen TV even allowed you to connect to Netflix and YouTube to watch all your favourite things. Fantastic. We also received free in-room Wi-Fi that was blisteringly fast. And that strange box is a multiple charging point that's located uh, on a bedside table. That's the one that Joe used mostly. The air conditioning was super effective and very quiet. It was a pleasure to be in the room with the air conditioning. The bathroom was large, modern, clean and bright. The shower was wheelchair accessible for what that was worth. We were provided with good quality toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. The water pressure was fantastic and the bench space would, was adequate to store all your toiletries and whatnot. All in all, shower was fantastic. And lastly, that's the view from the window. Nice and bright and incidentally the building in front is the Doubletree Hilton for those that are interested. In summary, I really enjoyed my stay at this hotel. It had a brilliant location. The room was very well appointed and comfortable. Uh, the hotel was a high standard, clean, modern, fresh. I would highly recommend that you stay here if it's within your price point. I do hope you've liked this video review. If so, please hit that like and subscribe button. Please be notified of my future videos by hitting that notify bell. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying me a coffee or smashing that super thanks button. Until our next adventure from Canada, you take care and bye now.